and as deep as night, and deep as love, and many moons up above, and let there be magic in Valentine's Day. Look, as I now reach into my hat, watch. Now, I'll welcome you to installment number four, where you'll be seeing lots of very romantic and blissful magic tricks, pranks, and gags. Without any further ado, I'm your host, Reese Nabo, and here we have 17 tricks that you could do and pull off this Valentine's Day. So let's make like these purple roses, and let's rose our way into these amazing Romantic tricks, pranks, gigs, and magic. I'll see you inside for the rest of the video. And here is when we throw on the romantic French music by the snapping of my fingers. And now, Get underway. First, I just want to change my caps. And now, let's do it. So, what is our first one up of the day? Or should I say, the eve? How deep it looks and feels. Feeling really good. Because in our first one, is just that. And that is the magic color changing wedding band trick. Here is what this looks like. For this, I'm gonna take this off so you guys can see my beautiful flower shirt. Alright, so guys, take a look at this. Just before we get started right into it. Okay, so here I got my wedding band here. Let's hold this. Actually, use the magic of this. Watch. If I give it a rub, you can see the change already. Taking place. You can see the color change. And if, if, I, if I even wear it. Watch. Get a little twist. It changes even more. Wow. You wanna know what this is done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind this to you right now. Okay, so this is a very special ring. It's actually a mood ring. That it'll change in the heat of your hand. So as you hold it, or even place it into upon your hand and squeeze it and hold it right there for a bit, the heat of your hand is what will cause it to magically change in color. Again, hold it, and it changes into another one. Again, squeeze. It changes even more darker because of the mood that you're in. Look. Like that. A nice, blissful blue. You can find these at your local buck or two, 
or wherever they sell mood rings. If you gonna look for a band, just like this. Symbolize a wedding band. Again. Like that. So now you know the secret behind this. It's very easy to do. And a good one that you're gonna pull off for Valentine's Day. You could do you could do it into your palm or you could just rub it and or just uh, play around with it too. Whichever you prefer to make the color change. And it'll change no matter what you do. You can also put it onto your finger and just keep your hand over it onto your finger like that. And do the same thing. Whichever you prefer to color change the wedding band. Very quick and very easy and very easy to pull off. And that right there is how you do that magic color changing wedding band trick. Because I know people are going to get engaged for Valentine's. Make, makes, it, makes it feel really, really good. Feel that love and sharing it with that someone. With a ring. An engagement ring. Right. Here, and the second one is just that, and that is the magic separating Valentine's Day engagement ring magic trick. Here's what this looks like. So, you guys just got one. I'm gonna actually just go into here. Watch this. Are you ready? And by magic, it separates in two. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need is two of the same rings from your local Bucket 2 or whatever that sells these nice blissful like rings that you'll see right here. Okay, what you want to do is you're going to keep one palmed into your fingers like just like this and keep one out. That we can pass around for inspection. You're gonna now just place this in with the other ring now onto the thumb. And here you're gonna actually just connect your thumb into here. Like this. And then now you're gonna dress it into your pointer finger. Again, the only gonna see is just that one at all times. And then just go like this. Draw apart with your thumb and finger going outward, side to side, giving a separation. From here, and go fast. And by magic, separate that one engagement ring and make it two. A very um, an interesting trick that you could do, very easy and very self-working, get up for the magic separating engagement ring. And that right there is how you do the magic separating Valentine's Day engagement ring magic trick. Because it's always about rings in Valentine's Day that makes everyone feel nice and special. And our third love number three on this one happens to be just that. And that is the magic Valentine's Day appearing heart ring on the bead chain magic trick. Here is like this. Looks like. Okay, so you can see this nice bead chain here. I'm gonna just, now just put this right into my hand, just like this. I'm gonna hold this here. Watch. I'm gonna actually just hold this and swing it. And by magic, what appears is a heart ring on the bead chain. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a heart ring, or any ring will do. Any you'll need is this bead like chain from a necklace. Just like this. What you wanna do is you're going to hold the ring just like this with your thumb and pointer in this position. Hold the chain just like this. Looks like nice, nice and natural. Here you go now is thread the necklace part, the chain, into this. 
keep your palm closed your, into a fist, hold the, ding, the dingling ends together, and you're going to hold this, and you're going to toss this out like this. And by magic, make a heart ring magically appear on the bead chain. And that right there is how you do the magic Valentine's Day appearing heart ring on the bead chain magic trick. Then down to our feeling good number four. And that is the magic feeling good heart vase trick. Here's what this looks like. So you see my little heart vase? I only got one heart. Watch. And by magic, I get a blue heart in the vase. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is this vase of hearts. Together, what you're gonna do is want the blue tucked in or whatever color vase you have of a heart and place it like this. All you gotta do is turn this around and having your fingers hide the other one behind it. That way it looks just like one. Go over here and place it in and then just move away. Be quick. Like this. And by magic, get yourself a blue or whatever color heart that appears on the side of the other heart in the blissful vase. And that's how you do the magic feeling good heart vase trick. Now here you're going to take a match and on the flame Turn it right into a rose. Coming in at our fifth one is just that, and that is the Happy Valentine's Day Magic Match to Rose Magic Trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. So you can see my match here. Watch. Are you ready? And by magic, it changes into a rose. How is this magic trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret. Okay, so you guys know what the magic to rose magic trick is? Well, this one here is actually different compared to there. You can, you can go and get the magic to rose, even, even the gimmick is able to. This one you can make yourself. It's very simple. All you need is a fake rose. A match and tape onto here and I'm putting upward like this you put a flame onto it rose is tucked into your palm and all you gotta do is make sure that you get a little bit of it and then you'll hike this down quickly make sure the rose does not get exposed and then you go like that and then there the match will turn into a rose but first you gotta do is blow out the flame be quick as you go like this, as you shake it, and then it'll turn into a rose. Then you just go like this, give it a light. Notice that. And then I gotta just go like this. Kiss her again, hide. And like that. Make sure that you have the rows going straight up, like that. Remember to hide the match as well, too. You know, it's great with the gimmick, but this way right here is a great um, DIY match to rows. Perfect one, you can pull off four. Valentine's Day, give it up for the match to rows. Magic trick. And that right there is how you do the Happy Valentine's Day Magic Match to Rose Magic Trick. So here it goes into your nose. Boop, boop. This one here, you're going to have a ball and get a rose on the nose. And this one, at our love number 
6th, and that is the Happy Valentine's Day Feeling Good Rose Nose Gag. Here's what this looks like. For this one, I think I'll use this hat. For this one. So you can see here. Watch, that's gonna actually just go like this. Where it is ball? And watch. <laughs> By magic, I wear a nose. No, I wear. Oh, sorry. I wear a rose on my nose. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you're gonna going to need is a fake rose and a clown nose. You're gonna put this in. What you wanna do is gonna have this palmed in and only have this exposed. Open it up. Place this on your nose. Rotate around. Rose will come up here. And then by magic, changing the red ball into a rose on your nose. A very funny gag that you can do and pull off. For Valentine's Day. Give it up for the Rose Nose Gang. Very quick, very simple, and very simple to set up with no practice at all. Again, you'll get uh, everyone cracking up when you see that red ball going onto your nose, and then by magic, a rose ends up on your nose. So, you want to see what kind of pants I'm wearing? With this shirt, just take a look down. So, work your way down and watch. Pants on my shirt. It really does look very exciting. Okay, now. Up we go, let's carry on with our next trick. Coming into our love number seven, and that is the falling over rose trick prank gag. Here's what this looks like. See my little rose here? You and sometimes roses. Over? Stay up there. Stay up there. Thank you. Stay up there. You. Stay there. No? Come on. Seriously. Is that heavy and falls over? How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. For this one, all you need is some pipe cleaners and make it into a rose. Make sure that the ball around it is pretty heavy. And only get big and defined one here. That way, it'll fall down very easy. What you want to do is support it first. Loose. And it'll fall right over. You can even hand it to a person. Here. And that falls over for, over for them. It is a comedy one that will definitely have somebody laughing with this. So your hand rolls over, and it falls on, on over. And you're gonna say that you can have to stay, stay, stay up, and it falls right back down. Don't forget to um, laugh at uh, this one. As it keeps doing that, which will actually eventually, you'll get people laughing with you with this. Stay up there. No. Stay up there. <laughs> stay up. I don't know if to stay up there. Just like that. It's a really clever um, prank game that you can do and pull off this Valentine's Day. A very easy to do prank gag. It is also very crafty. You can do it in, in arts and crafts, and you can also impress everyone 
with that too. Or you could do that to a, uh, a rose, but make sure that you bend it well enough and jiggle it so that way it becomes nice and loose. Or you could go to the art way and do what I've done. Okay, and right there is how you do the falling over rose trick prank gag. And that brings us blissfully down on the list. And that comes to our eighth one. And that is the feeling good, small, teapot, and, bli and a blissful cup trick gag. Here's what this looks like. You can see my little blissful cup, and I got this. Can you see anything? No. Watch. How was that blissfully possible? Well, it is possible, because now I will reveal the secret. All you need is this little teacup. Doesn't pour anything out because it is an ornament. What you're gonna need is this nice little blissful te little teapot right here. And you need is a tea light candle. What you wanna do first is that you're gonna get your lighter and give it the tea light a light. You need to have this on for quite some time to develop the smoke. Place into your little cup just like this. And keep this at an angle so you don't get to see the little flame in the inside. What you're gonna do is you're gonna actually dump this in. They're gonna think, okay, when I dump in my little tea, they're saying, why is your tea so invisible? All I gotta do is blow out the flame. And then look. By magic, some steam comes from your blissful teacup. A very blissful uh, trick. Gag that you can get into this Valentine's Day. Cheers! And I'll get you to have yourself a nice cup of tea. Mmm, that's tasty tea. And that right there is how you do the feeling good small teapot and blissful cup trick gag. Then now here we are at our ninth one that's making it. So, rich, fully, deep in love, and that is the magic gold dollar and tea light heart holder magic trick. Here's what this looks like. For this up, you can see my tea light and candle. I'm gonna actually place this into this heart, like this. Okay, I'm gonna do something pretty magic with this. And I'm going to now is just need one thing. I just need just a dollar. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just hold this dollar. I'm gonna actually just place this into my hand here. I'm gonna just actually just take this dollar here and do something pretty magic with that and use this. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna hold this here. I'm gonna light my tea light candle. Here. Come on. Watch. Now watch this. I take this, and by magic, look what enters the dollar. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a heart candle holder. You'll need is a tea light candle that can come out very easy. And next you'll need is two gold coins. What you want to do is preload one into the tea, the tea cup over here. And then you just place the candle into a dress like this. You're gonna hold this so you don't get to see it, just like this. And only you show the dollar. There, what you're going to now is place it into the candle holder, the heart one, like this. And then place this aside. 
take your dollar and do the French drop like this. Point at it, put this into your pocket, pass it over, be very quick. Really? There's nothing there. So you're going to pass the invisible coin into this, place this on top, very carefully. Then take your lighter and give your tea light a, uh, a flame. Rub it like this. Blow it out. Then by magic, the coin just disappears. Pull up from the wick very carefully. And by magic, the coin ends up inside of it. And then dump it out to reveal the coin into your hand. How blissful is that? And that right there is how you do the magic gold dollar and tea light heart holder magic trick. Because with all this magic, I don't know if right now my hat will change in color. Just watch that my hat very carefully. What? Into green? Wow. There's definitely lots of love magic in the air. It definitely brings out the love the love colors right out of the heart. Okay, since we're doing into love and that, and coming in our tenth one is just that. And that is the good feeling spin rose trick prank gag. Here is what this looks like. Okay, for this, I just need my rose. Then hold my hand. Watch. What? Seriously, I just rubbed this and I think it just registered the heat on my hands. All that from one rose. Do I know if this is done? I'm about to re reveal the roses to get to you right now. I need a fake rose or a real rose. Now to create that, all you need is some talcum powder. I want to actually go into the rose, so you just be very careful as you dump the talcum powder into the rose on one section of it right here. What you want to do is use the stem, hold it into your hands just like this, and as you do this, it's going to expel. The wind's going to, going to push out the talcum powder like this. So do that very fast, and then you'll get a mysterious cloud coming from the red rose. And that right there is how you feel pretty rosy. A very similar one you can do, very and very yet very romantic, and very good a, f a feeling written all over it. And right there is how you do the good feeling spin a rose trick prank gag. And then bring uh, bring us to the rosy heart of Valentine's Day, and the light that comes from the moons and, and the stars comes down to our 11th one and that is the magic white lighter appearing silk magic trick here's what this looks like hey, you can see I got nothing in my hand here and I got nothing in my hand here okay, let's do something pretty magic and just take this lighter here watch this And by magic, I get a silk appearing from the lighter. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is um, yellow silk and the lighter. What you want to do is bunch up your silk. See this very nice and tightly. And just place it into your fingers just like this. And coil upward. 
so an empty hand. Get ready, as P lighter in, other hands completely empty. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually now just come up and pinch the silk. As I get ready to light the lighter, go up, and then by magic, toss it into your hand and making a silk appear from the lighter. And that there is how you do the magic white lighter appearing silk magic trick. And now uh, bringing to us to our twelfth trick, and that is the blissful blue petals from the hand magic trick. Here's what this looks like. Okay, so here you can see I've got nothing in my hand here. Then it's just, it's just to do is just take this away. Oh, here you can see there's nothing there. Watch. And by magic, blue petals appear flying out of my hands. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a bunch of blue um, rose petals. Make sure you put them up and bunch them together really well so they don't come fly apart. And any you will just need is a covering. Whoa! Let's just get that from my hat. <laughs> Okay, what you want to do is you're going to actually just use the cover and brace well with your thumb. Like this. So that way, you can see one hand empty, you're going to place the bundle into your hand. Be very careful, nothing is coming out. Careful as you take the covering away from your hand. There you can look at the covering and your other hand. Place the hand over carefully. Do not expose the leaves. And I'm gonna do step aside and I'm gonna throw these out by magic, making blue rose petals magically appear from your bare hands. And that right there is how you do the blissful blue petals from the hand magic trick. Hey, you're going to get a candle, and again, imagine just blow it out, and it ends up raining petals. Imagine that a candle raining petals, rose petals, to be exact. And right our thirteenth one is just that, and that is the magic Valentine's white candle appearing rose petals. Magic trick. Here's what this looks like. So here. My candle here. I'm gonna actually give this light with my lighter. Okay. Gonna set my lighter down. Watch. So I'm gonna actually just hold this up to the here. And by magic, as it blows out, it rains petals. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal. The secret. All you need is a nice romantic white candle that you'll see right here. A few red rose petals. And you'll need is your lighter. What you want to do is keep your rose petals into your hand at all times. And hold your candle like this with your thumb and pointer. What you want to do is give your candle a light. So that and do is gonna actually now is come up close to the tip like this. And it's a blow in the air as you're gonna blow. These will blow as you blow out the flame like this. And by magic, as you blow out the flame, rose petals will magically just rain come flying out of the candle. And that right there is how you do the magic valentine's white candle appearing rose petals. Magic trick. Then we get right to the heart to our 14th one and that is the magic deep love flame candle trick. Here's what this looks like. Here you can see my candle. Got like this one on, on a flame here. Okay. 
watch. Look at this. Take this cloth here. Watch. Whoa. Very deep. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a royal red candle. You'll need is a covering, and you'll need is some body spray, which is this. This is going to cast a flame. What you want to do is hide this into your covering, just like this, so you don't know it. Take your lighter and give the candle a light. Like this. Okay, keep this on the cover. Get it on the other hand. Make sure this is not get exposed. So you hold it like this. And here, as you go like this, it smells a flame. So here, it does. From over here, all you see is this. Make sure you get right to the candle and do that. A really, really epic magic trick that you could do this. Valentine's Day. Very deep to the heart and very deep in love. Because of it being so deep, I wonder, since the magic changed my hat, I wonder if it'll change it again. Just keep watching. Ah! I feel so blessed. can definitely sense that this Valentine's Day is going to be a good one. Straight to the heart. And that right there is how you do the magic deep love flame candle trick. What's going to the heart right now? Because at our 15th one it's just that. That is the deep love rose bouquet trick. Here is what this looks like. So you can see my bouquet. Let's get this little shake. Watch. And by magic, it gives me gold coins from the Deep Love bouquet. How is this trick done? Because I'm about to reveal the secret. Okay, here is the setup that you're gonna do for this. All you'll need is this red deep love bouquet that you'll see right here, and you'll need a bunch of gold coins. Okay, I'll rub all for you guys. Right here. What you wanna do is you wanna stick them into the the petal, pe petals into each one. Make sure they're all fit and that they don't even get to see the coins. Making sure they're well hidden inside of each. Make sure you get a good bunch of coins. That way you'll get a run of coins as you shake the bouquet. Like that. So once all here, make sure you push them down so they don't get exposed. So the coins are right here. You're gonna hold the bouquet just like this. Make your way over to that table and shake the bouquet and expelling the coins like this. As you shake it downward onto the table. And to their surprise, coins mysteriously come from a deep love bouquet. Of roses. You see the roses over there? If I just hold my hand here, and actually magically them come to me by using the force of love. They were just over there, and that magic, I got them just by using the force. The force of love. 
And that there is how you do the deep love ro rose bouquet trick. Then now to our feeling good number 16. And that is the mysterious catching white rose bouquet trick prank gag. Here's what this looks like. So you can see, you can see this here? Watch. You can actually pull this away. And by magic, I can catch it. Again. Ways away. And I catch it again. How is this catch trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a bouquet and a retractable keychain you're gonna put on to your collar. That's right about here. Make sure you go for the fine. You're gonna hold it like this. Let go and it'll catch just like that. Hold this away. Keep your arms straight. And go like that and catch it. Just gonna make sure that you tape it and stuff it to the bouquet. Really good. I do that. And by magic, catching a bouquet in a snap, in a jiffy, into your hand, just by using the force. Make it flip with two fingers and catch it again. It's a really cool one you could do and pull off for Valentine's Day. It involves bouquet catching. Or you can have them attracted to you. Why does it keep attracting to me? So you can you can you can have you can, you can even, even have it attracted to you too. You could do a two gig a two gig in one with that one. And that right there is how you do the mysterious catching white bouquet trick prank gag. And then we get to our last one and our seventeenth one, and that is the magic truly madly deeply Valentine's card magic trick. Here's what this looks like. So here I got my uh, my TP card, got my cup. Watch this, this the action is using pretty magic. Watch. And get some red wine in my glass from the card. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal a secret. All you need is a truly magic TP card or any Valentine's card will work for this one. Okay, what you'll need is a gimmick cup with a little bit of your red wine, juice, or punch, or whatever. And you'll need is a glass that you'll fit like that. Okay, so here is the next. Here, here, here are the next few steps. What you want to do with this is take your card as as a covering and hold it like this with your fingers like that. You can also open the card and put it in the card. So you can do two things. You can do it this way or into the card. Here, you can actually just place this in just like this and then brush away. That's all that is to it. So again, here. Go in pretty quickly here and then just that magic making wine appear from a Valentine's card. Truly, madly, deeply. Cheers to love at its finest. And there you go, all 17 tricks that you can do for Valentine's Day. Again, thank you for watching installments number 1, 2, and 3. And now, coming up, the fourth one. Coming up soon, we'll get to our fifth installment and our sixth tomorrow. So, have fun and enjoy one another's love with those very amazing tricks pranks, gags, and magic. 
straight from the heart. Now, in signing off, I just wanted to, let's just show you guys a little thing about these uh, videos. And that is, oh, what, what you're seeing in these videos are full of uh, magic tricks, tricks, magic, gags, from the heart, from the soul, and the spirit of love. And making that inside love feeling stand out with blissful feelings and lots of prayers and a whole bunch more amazing, amazing things under the love moon straight to you with love. And as happy as I am to be your Trixel host, I'm really happy making these videos. Uh, uh, videos and sharing these tricks with you, with love. And uh, I'll see you back for more of our amazing videos, let alone our all new Don Hensey trick videos filled with amazing video trick content. Stay tuned, and I'll see you then. And have yourself a great night.